What's the worst that can happen? Not with the send deliveries. <laughs> what? When I uh, when I started to put my first aid kit together, like one band aid at a time, I was like, <laughs> oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if uh, I was like, oh, don't worry about it. I have three band aids. It'll be fine. For ultra runners and endurance athletes, a double crossing of the Grand Canyon, or rim to rim to rim, is a once in a lifetime bucket list achievement. Depending on the route, runners will cover between 40 and 48 miles round trip with up to 11,000 feet of elevation gain. That's like climbing up and down the world's tallest building over three and a half times. Only 1% of 1% of the 6 million annual visitors to the national park complete the trek. For some, it's a life-changing experience. For me, the jury's still out. Good morning. It is 4.20 in the morning. I'm waiting for Brian to pick me up and uh, head across the Grand Canyon. It's gonna be a long day. Well, here we are, day of the run. 28 degrees on the way to South Kaibab Trailhead. We set off down the South Kaibab Trail at 4.43 a.m. and ran in total darkness for the first three miles. We felt confident in our training, but were unsure of the conditions at the North Rim. Rangers told us this was the most snow at the North Rim in over 100 years. Signs along the trail advised the use of extreme caution, and the NPS website warned that the North Kaibab Trail was impassable to all but expert hikers with, and I quote, the ability to self-rescue. All right, we are three miles in. Sun's coming up. Check out this, uh... It's warmed up quite a bit. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Got a, Good. got a few miles left to go. <laughs> I think we can do it. Let's keep going. I've got four and a half miles in. It's been an hour and 22 minutes. So, you know, we got some more, more to do. Uh, it's been some steep grade, big rocks, steep cliffs. Been fun. It's better in the Glad daylight. Glad to be here. Oh yeah, much yeah. better in the daylight. Don't feel like uh, I'm gonna fall into the abyss. Wait for me! Alright, six and a half miles in. It's been two hours crossing the Colorado River now. Let's go. But I'm torn between like, I'm only gonna do this once or I'm gonna be here all day if I don't stop taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. That's some cold water right there. Phantom Ranch Campgrounds. These are the Phantom Ranch cabins. So I said it's 7.43. So we're about 10 and a half miles in. We've been on this false flat for what, two or three miles, give or take? Since Phantom Ranch? About so. How you feeling? Feeling great. Okay. So, uh, very good. How about that? Okay. <laughs> you got a cold beer at the end of it waiting for you. If I, if I don't fall asleep before then. <laughs> no, sounds good. Okay. So we got about uh, six more miles and then I think we're going to get some, uh, some uphill probably. Get back into some of that snow we've been hearing about. Yeah.
South Rim. I think I see Chris coming up. So, uh, 12 and a half miles. About how many more? We've got about uh, seven to the summit okay. of the North Rim. About three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. uh, Weather's perfect. Can't argue with the weather. I keep forgetting to eat. Got a bite. Okay. So uh, four hours in, gone 14.75 miles. I had to stop and take a take the GoPro out for this. That is a view. Brian is so far in front of me now. I have no idea where he is. Luckily, it is a single track trail, and I will eventually catch him. Onto Cottonwood campsite. Brian's up here, I think, in water. The ranger station. There he is. At the Manzanita rest area, a runner returning from the North Rim warned us that the trail ahead got spicy and that we would have to determine our own level of spiciness. Can you decide if you're spicy enough for it or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spicy are you? <laughs> Starting to get a little steep. We've gone up about 2,000 feet. Right the, the last water stop. Manzanita. Mixed reports about the weather up there. Definitely going like. to be some snow. Some folks say it's uh, nice and passable. Others are not so sure. We'll find out. Turns out we're only medium spicy. We managed across rock slides, flood damage trails, and several trail blowouts, but eventually came to the realization that at our current pace of 30 minute miles would make it impractical to reach the top of the North Rim. So we turned around just south of Supai Tunnel. Virtually there, but this is just not worth it. So, this is our North Rim. We're heading back. You do have to wait for me though, eventually. Okay. I think you might need this. Gentleman and scholar. How you, how you feeling? I've been better. Yeah. But you know, I'll make it. Did that mountain play tricks on you like it did on me? Every time you make a turn, you're like, I think I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you see another mountain in front of you. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what happened. After a world famous lemonade at Phantom Ranch, we packed away our cameras and focused on the task ahead. Eight miles and 4,500 feet of elevation later, we reached the Bright Angel Trailhead for a total of 41 miles with just under 9,500 feet of elevation gain. The next day, I could barely walk. Come on. You can do it. So that was the hardest thing that I've ever done, period. Yeah, I couldn't be happier with what we did, what we were able to accomplish. Uh, the last 20 miles were absolutely brutal. It was just everything I could do to put one foot in front of the other. Going down into the canyon was a wonderful experience, absolutely beautiful place. 
On more than one occasion, I thought about taking out the emergency blanket that I was carrying and wrapping it up like a tent and sleeping down there, which may have happened if Brian wasn't with me, who at some points actually ended up pushing me up the hill. Not, not often, but a couple times. Hopefully um, <clears throat> the canyon will see us again. I'm absolutely not gonna do this again. That's not gonna be one of those famous last words or foreshadowing things. Uh, this was a one and done thing.